Well, there are signs of more corruption coming from the very top of the Southern Baptist Convention. The president, CEO, interim president of the executive committee of the Southern Baptist Convention that makes all the decisions for pastors and many important decisions has been accused of lying on his resume. We're going to talk about that today. I'm going to go to some scripture and I've got a quote at the end that you want to stick around for. Let's get started. So here is the headline. It's made it to the Washington Post and Secular News because there, there are a lot of eyes on the SBC right now. And we see the, ti the title here, SBC leader Willie McLaurin resigns after admitting he falsified resume. He, uh, that's what the claim is. Let's continue on. This isn't the whole article, but it's a good chunk of it. So here's Willie McLaurin right there. Willie McLaurin, the acting president of the Southern Baptist Convention's executive committee, resigned suddenly on Thursday after admitting he had falsified his resume. Okay, so there we have it right away. He confessed. It's an admission. While considering McLaurin as a candidate for former president Ronnie Floyd's permanent replacement, the SBC executive committee's presidential search team discovered disqualifying information during their process of vetting and due diligence. Philip Robertson, chairman of the SBC Executive Committee, said in a statement, McLaurin's education credentials that he presented in his resume are false. I wonder how in the world did this get, man get where he is? The statement quoted from McLaurin's resignation letter saying he admitted falsifying his resume. In a recent resume that I submitted, it included schools that I did not attend or complete the course of study, McLaurin report reportedly said in resigning. So he didn't even go to the schools. No, he didn't take a single class at these schools that he said that he went to. According to Baptist Press, an official SBC publication, McLaurin claimed on his resume that he had degrees from North Carolina Central University, Duke University Divinity School, and Hood Theological Seminary. When presidential search committee members attempted to confirm those degrees, they learned he did not hold those degrees. We're going to come right back to this. But see, he has been serving on the Tennessee Baptist Mission Board for 15 years. He's been serving as executive pastor of a church in Tennessee for 15 years. So the question is, did he submit applications that he went to these schools at that time? Was that not investigated? This is very bizarre. But uh, like, how in the world did this man get in the positions that he's in? But this is what we're seeing much of in the SBC. We're seeing tremendous corruption. We're seeing men who are power hungry. They are greedy. And they'll do whatever it takes to get in the position that they want to get in. And this is a, a terrible thing and, and a terrible witness to the world as we're seeing lying and corruption uh, all over the place. And there was a very recent resignation by Adam Greenway of Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary. It was September of last year, actually, and he resigned for corruption with money. He, uh, there was all kinds of crazy expenditures, like $11,000 spent on an espresso machine and all kinds of claims of how money was being used. So we're just seeing continual scandals in the SBC, and this is not good. Let's get back to this article. So I read that. Um, McLaurin had been interim president and CEO of the executive committee since February 2022 and had worry, worked for the executive committee since 2020. The committee oversees the business of the nation's largest Protestant denomination between the SBC's annual meetings. The Southern Baptist Convention has a series of leaders exit, has seen a series of leaders exit in recent years, often in controversy. Among them, Former SBC President Paige Patterson, who was fired for mishandling the investigation of a sexual assault at a seminary he led. David Platt, the former president of the SBC's International Mission Board, who resigned after a troubled tenure that included the loss of nearly 1,000 missionaries due to budget cuts. 
And Russell Moore, the former president of the SBC's Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission, and a critic of former President Donald Trump, who had forced unwelcome discussions in the SBC on sexual abuse. And Adam Greenway, who resigned last fall from Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary after concerns about the school's finances. Now, this is the Washington Post. We know things are going to be framed a certain way, but there's much controversy that has been occurring in the SBC, that's for sure, and many people forced out. To the Southern Baptists who have placed their confidence in me, this is Willie McLaurin speaking now, and have encouraged me to pursue the role of president and CEO of the SBC Executive Committee, including pastors, state partners, entity servants, colleagues, and SBC African-American friends, I offer my deepest apologies, McLaurin said in his resignation letter, according to Baptist Press. Please forgive me for the harm or hurt that this has caused. So he's asking forgiveness there. Uh, certainly, forgiveness is granted for those that are repentant of their sins, but you cannot continue on in a lifestyle like that. Uh, <laughs> just plain, as a Christian, you can't continue on in a lifestyle like that. And certainly, you can't be put in roles like that when you're in continual states of lying, and that's what we're seeing here. We need men of integrity. We've been walking through Proverbs, Truth Nuggets and Proverbs on this channel, and this made me think of some passages here that I'd read recently about integrity. Proverbs 11.3, the integrity of the upright guides them, but the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them. Proverbs 28.5, better is a poor man who walks in his integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways. And that's what we're seeing. These men have tremendous wealth. You've got to understand, these positions are positions of wealth. These are positions of prestige. These are the most uh, prestigious kind of positions that, that these power-hungry, money-hungry men are vying for. And they'll do whatever it takes to get those positions. And that's why we see deep, deep corruption at the very top levels. And uh, this doesn't sound like we're talking about a Christian organization. Not at all. No. This is what the world does. Power hungry. Money hungry. They'll do what it takes to get those positions, including lying on their resume. Let's get back to it. Uh, next verse here. Proverbs 12, 22. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who act faithfully are his delight. We are to walk faithful in our walk with the Lord. And that is not what we're seeing from SBC leaders. All right, next one. Proverbs 10.2, treasures gained by wickedness do not profit, but righteousness delivers from death. All right, last one. Proverbs 21.6, the getting of treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor and a snare of death. A snare of death, it says it is. Uh, this is a wicked, wicked thing uh, to get to these places. And how in the world does a man get where he is? I don't understand any job that I've ever had, secular, pastoral. Uh, <laughs> there's checking into the things that you put on your resume. <laughs> the, uh, you usually have to send transcripts, or at least there's a background report that's run that verifies the schools that you've gone to. And in another article I read, it said there was a four-week investigation on this. So, like, what do you think was going through this man's mind in those four weeks that they're investigating these schools that he's claiming he's gone to? I guess the question would be, did he claim that he went to these universities in his other positions he applied for? and then get approved for those positions? Or did he not claim that, but he chose to claim it this time? I would tend to think that he did claim it because how else would he get into those positions? Clearly, uh, this was a need to get into those roles. And he just outright lied. He didn't say, he didn't exaggerate even to say, well, you know, I, I actually took these classes or that, and he didn't. No, he didn't even go to the schools like at all. Uh, th this is this is crazy. All right, well, let's close it off with a quote by John MacArthur on integrity, uh, actually about lying. 
Whether your lies are direct lies, half-truths intended to mislead, perjury, exaggeration, boasting, flattery, slander, false accusations, hypocrisy, deceitful behavior, whatever kind of lies, if, as Revelation says, you love and practice lying, you will never arrive in God's holy heaven. Heaven only holds forgiven liars who've been transformed. Comes from a sermon titled, The Disastrous Sin of Lying. Yeah, this is a big deal. And this is a, a, a terrible witness to the world. And uh, Willie McLaurin is asking for prayers. Well, we ought to pray for him. We ought to pray for the Southern Baptist Convention. We ought to pray for men of integrity. And we ought to pray for those that have shown that they lack integrity, that God would work in their hearts, that God would humble them, that they would not just be sorry that they got caught, but they would be sorry for the great sin that they have committed and continue to commit. Because unfortunately, what we see is we see men who are hungry for power, for prestige, and for profit. And we don't see men that are hungry to serve and honor the Lord and do all that it means to be faithful to Christ no matter what the consequences. But that is what we need if we're going to make a great impact for Christ in the world. We need men like that. We do not need power-hungry, greedy businessmen. Well, you've been watching Truth Transforms. My name's Adam Markley. The goal of Truth Transforms is to transform hearts and transform minds through the truth of God's Word. If you're new here, go ahead and hit subscribe. Hit that like button as well. Let's help spread this to more people. God bless you, and I will see you in the next video.